You're welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number three from this June 2022 GCE um, paper from the A level in the UK, it's from the paper two um, of the A level. And it's um, a question that's related to P2 of International A level, the, uh, you know, the P2 is pure mathematics two syllabus. And I've chosen this question because it's you know, related to P2 and there's a few things I'd like to discuss with it. So first of all, it says a sequence of terms A1, A2, A3 is defined by this, basically this is called a recurrence relationship. Okay, so in a recurrence relationship, the first term is always defined. And then the rule that takes you from one term to the next is also defined. So here, what they're basically saying is that the first term, the very first term of the sequence is three, and then the next term, you have to substitute that first term into this expression to find the second term. And if you want to find the third term, you expect you you put the um, the second term into this expression to find the third term, and so on. So we were told a one is three, so that's the first term of the expression of the sequence. So I'll, I'll write that down over here. So I've got three. And the second term of the sequence is when you put 3 instead of this a there. So the second term is going to be 8 minus a1. So that means a2 is 8 minus a1. That's all you can do. So if you want to find what a2 is, this is 2, this is a 1 then, right? So it's 8 minus a1, and a1 is 3. So it's 8 minus 3, which is 5. Okay, so we have 3 and then 5. And then a3 is equal to 8 minus a2 which is eight minus five, which is three. So you can see that this, you can see straight away this, the sequence is going to repeat. Okay, because you're gonna, when you put three into the same expression, it's gonna keep going around in circles. So you're gonna have eight, a four is eight minus a three. So it's eight minus three, which is five and so on. A five, eight minus a four. So eight minus five, which is three. So you can see you're gonna have you're going to start off with three, then five, then three, then five, and so on. It's going to continue like this, you know, in the same pattern. So we can see that we've shown that it's periodic. So this is part one. We've shown that it's periodic. And part two says, state the order of the periodic sequence. Now we can see that this is repeating every two terms. It repeats three, five, three, five, three, five. So we can see that basically because the, the terms repeat in such a way that they repeat every two terms, then we can say the period is equal to two. The period of the order, sometimes they call it the order, is equal to two. Okay, so we can say the period is equal to two. Okay, so it's a, an, it has an order or period of two. Okay, simple as that. So we've shown that it keeps repeating, and we've stated that the period is two. That's part A finished. Then part B it says, find the value of and what this means is the sum of all the terms from the first term to the 85th term. So basically what, the, what, this, what this will give you if, you, if you continue this, you're going to have 3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus 3 plus 5 plus all the way to the 85th term. So that's the first term, okay, which is A1, all the way to A85. Okay, we've got to add all of them together. Now, in order for us to do this, we've got to think about, you know, we've, of course we're going to have 85 terms, but some of them are going to be threes and some of them are going to be fives. And because there's an odd number of numbers, odd number of like, numbers we're adding together, they're not going to be equally threes and fives. So there's going to be one of them is going to be more than the other. So if we consider this, um, some people get confused in this hard question. How many threes are there? How many fives are there? How do I work out? Are there more threes than fives? Some people realize, all right, let's divide 85 by two. Okay, and of course, you're going to get something which is um, not a whole number. You end up with 42.5. So you, you know that one of them is going to be this 43 terms. The other one is going to be um, 42 terms. Okay, which one is the one that's 43 terms? Which one that is the one that has 40 um two terms, that's what we have to figure out. Now, one way you can do this is just consider, say, the first five terms. One, two, three, four, five. So you consider an odd number of terms. So you can see here that every odd term, 
the first, the third, the fifth, those are all threes. And every even term, in terms of position, five, the second term, the fourth term, the sixth term, they're going to be fives. Okay? And you can see, in the first five terms, you have three fives, and three threes, and two fives. So you can see, because the first term is odd, and the last term is an odd, you know, the first position is odd, and the, the 85th position, of course, that's an odd position, threes are going to be more than the fives. So you're going to have... 43 threes, and you're going to have 42 fives. Okay, and that will give you the answer here. You've got 43 threes that you're adding together, so it's 43 times 3 plus 42 times 5, and that will give you your answer. So you have 43 times 3 plus 42 times 5, and that gives you 339. So that's the sum of all those numbers in that sequence. Okay, so that's a little thing that you need to um, understand there. Okay, so there's the answer. It's a pretty simple question, but how do you deal with something like this? What I like to do is I like to take just a snapshot of a few of those terms. And, you know, because there's an odd number of terms altogether, think about how are that, how would how many threes will there be and how many fives will there be in that small snapshot that you can see, you can actually count them and then relate that to you know, all the numbers together say, okay, that means because three starts off as the first term and three is also the last term, okay, there's going to be one more three than fives in this uh, sum, okay? So we worked out that there's 43 threes and there's 42 fives. And if you're, um, yeah, so that that's fine, that's fine. That, 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 that should um, sort that question out. All right, so there's the answer to that question, number three from this very short question but a few important points here about recurrence relationships and how to deal with these kind of sigma questions okay so uh, other questions from this particular paper if you want me to answer it will be found in the playlist that appears over here so the students who are watching maybe from the uk syllabus that might relate to them other questions from the sequence from sequences and series in general from p2 i will collect those in this um, a playlist that will appear in this region here. You can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link and you can watch a video here which will help you to use my channel in a more efficient way. Thank you for watching and see you soon.